And so I'll just kind of give myself about a finger's width extra. Get this kind of line back up here. So I'm just going to mark out the outline of this lid. And then I'll also mark where all the corners meet up. And then one of the next things I learned through the hard way, I guess, is keying in the lid because all these look the same. And it also helps to translate this to the inside. So I'll put just a small dot right there. So next, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up texture uh, on the inside of this lid, or what will be the inside. So this, this is just a serrated scraper tool, and uh, this is what I use to make deep grooves in my work. So I just stick it in, and I really go pretty deep, because I want the grooves to be as deep as the teeth will let me go. All right, match up my line, my dot with my dot, the dot on the inside here. It should be on the outside there. I just kind of eyeball it. I come to the edge of the jar with my fingers and then match that up and go to the other side and do the same. So when I uh, make the deepest impressions with this lid, I, I like to use uh, this foam, which again, just like when I was picking up the slab, really spreads out the surface area of the pressure that I'm using. So what I'm doing here is I'm pushing down and then when I raise the edge of the jar lid up, then it sinks down a little bit lower every time. And then I'll even come in here, actually push it down a little lower. And if I'm feeling really good, and rocking on all cylinders. I'll even try to just push the slab down with my hand. And there gets to be a point of no return, and I'm just about there where the, I can start to feel the clay separate a little bit. And I, I really like to push it to that edge because I know I'm, I'm getting the volume that I need. And I'll take my trusty Dolan knife so my finger is kind of holding the guide to make sure that I don't cut through the actual rim of the jar. One thing I've got to watch out for is this is fixing to get removed. So I need to make it just a little registration line there, or a dot. So after you set the lid, the, the clay is really wet. And so it's good to let it set up to a soft leather hard. So I've, I've done that here, and you can see it, it's still, like I can move it just a little bit, which is crucial to what I'm fixing to do. So the advantage of dropping the lid the way that I did, you don't have to measure, and you end up with this really nice cut line that theoretically should fit right in, but it never does. But it gets you pretty close. So I'll just use this guide. And what I want to be really mindful of is the profile of this lip right here. It tapers out just slightly, so I want to try to mirror that in the angle that I cut my lid. So instead of just having it straight down, I'm going to angle just slightly. And that'll help me get the lid to fit a little bit sooner. So next, I just match up my dot with my dot. And that's the corner I'll start with. And we'll see how close we get here. So I'm going to push this down in here like that. And I'm just going to work in each corner. And doing it soft like this allows me to really push the lid down into the gallery. And it gives the lid a little bit more volume by pushing it down. You kind of pop up the rest of it. All right, so the lid is cut and it's pretty close. It needs to sit up just a little bit more before I carve it because it's still quite soft. But what I will do is just give this a little bit of compression. 